the biggest and possibly the only story out of the Federal Reserve this year was the waiting and the hand wringing, the gnashing of teeth over whether the central bank would or wouldn't raise interest rates. And for the first time in nearly a decade, the Fed did raise rates in 2015, but just barely, both in the amount raised, a quarter point, and when on the calendar, waiting until just last week to make its move. Ho, ho, ho. Steve Leisman has been on the case all year long. For the Federal Reserve, 2015 was mostly like a bad year for the space agency, NASA. LC, we're going to scrub for the day. Repeated scrub liftoffs of a Fed funds rate that had been held earthbound at zero for nearly a decade. Markets began the year thinking the Fed would hike rates in the summer. But that launch was aborted after weak first quarter growth raised questions about the strength of the economic recovery. Markets adjusted, thinking that the first rate hike since 2006 would now come in September. But 5, 4, 3, 2, countdown halted after global markets took fright over weaker Chinese and Asian growth in a U.S. job market that slowed down. Here we go. Expectations for launch were reset, this time to December. When the month came, jobs had rebounded and growth was okay, but oil prices fell hard. Inflation wasn't rising and high yield debt blew up. The meeting came, five, four, three, two, one. The Federal Reserve finally lifted off, raising its interest rate by one quarter point to a new range of 25 to 50 basis points. This action marks the end of an extraordinary seven year period during which the federal funds rate was held near zero to support the recovery of the economy from the worst financial crisis and recession since the Great Depression. Three, two, one, zero, and liftoff. Now that liftoff has been achieved, markets end the year wondering how high will interest rates fly in 2016, and most importantly, how fast will they get there? For Nightly Business Report, I'm Steve Leisman from Mission Control.